Hamas since the arrest of an Afghani immigrant accused of planting bombs and terror investigation, the terror investigation of a Somali slasher in the mall last weekend. This is a brand new Homeland Security Inspector General report has revealed that hundreds of individuals ordered deported were actually granted citizenship instead, close to a thousand of them. Wow, so how in the world does that happen? Here to weigh in is retired Homeland Security and Border Patrol agent David Ward. Thanks for being with us, David. How does well, this good morning. happen? Morning. How do we get a, a thousand people are granted citizenship, basically, and uh, They're supposed they, to be shouldn't be, they, should, they should be out of the country. How does that happen? This is an absolute incompetence by the Department of Homeland Security. This has happened before 1996 with the Clinton administration did the same thing. They ramrodded naturalizations through to knock down their backlog. A lot of people had criminal records, but they weren't married up with the, uh, the case files of these individuals. They were ultimately granted citizenship, yet they were criminals. But now we have 858 special interest country aliens who were ordered deported because of criminal activity now are among us as uh, citizens. They have access to everything in the United States except the office of the presidency. Yeah, no kidding. It smells fishy, doesn't it? It, it does smell fishy. And uh, here we have uh, these people that have been ordered deported that are among us that can be, they can be elected into Congress, they can be elected into the Senate, they can be anything, and we have no idea about who they are. And the problem with all this is the vetting process. Yeah. If we can't vet, legal aliens in the United States that are already under proceedings and have been ordered deported. And here we have the administration wanting to bring in all these people from the same special interest countries mm -hmm. without being properly vetted. We are opening ourselves up to a lot of trouble. No kidding. And, so, and then just this, past, just this past week, we had two terrorist attacks in this country and both of them were naturalized citizens mm -hmm. from special interest countries. Yeah, it's very scary. All right, if you look at some of the facts, one of them became a law enforcement officer. Two of them gained access to secure areas at commercial airports. One gained access to secure areas at a maritime facility or several facilities. How worried should we be? We should be very worried that they have access to our deepest secure areas, including the airports. They could be TSA agents who could flag other SIC aliens in through uh, mm -hmm. the uh, airport. So there are a lot of variables in this, and this is this also sets us up for their asymmetric war against this country by using covert operations just like this. Mm -hmm. Well, that slasher in Minnesota, he was an off-duty police officer or some sort of a law enforcement he was officer. A I think he was a security officer. Yeah. Yeah. David, real quickly, uh, you're, this kind of points to what Donald Trump is talking about, that the immigration system is broken. It is broken. Ever since 2003, when INS was dissolved and incorporated into this thing called the Department of Homeland Security, all the avenues of information exchange were stopped. CIS, Border Patrol, investigations, inspections, all were under the same umbrella and worked together in unison to address the immigration problem. Right. Now these agencies do not talk to each other. They're, they are completely fragmented. And that's the problem. Among other what are they going to do about it? Well, under the, these uh, 858 aliens that were granted uh, uh, deportation, they could be criminally prosecuted under 18 U.S.C. 1425 and uh, uh, taken to federal court. They would lose their citizenship ultimately and be deported as they should be. And I would hope the next president would follow through because this administration will not do it. We've already seen a lot of criminal activity that the government has just pushed aside. But the next president needs to get a handle on this and start addressing the problems we have. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, David Ward, this is your department. We thank you very much for sharing your expertise. Thanks, David.